On this episode, which is always one of our most fun episodes, it's the youth hunt. So whenever he pulls the trigger, he's expecting that animal to be dead. Oh my God. Oh my God. Two of my grandchildren and one of Mr. Beatty's gonna be featured on this hunt. If he come by, what are we gonna do? Shit. We're gonna smoke him on. <laughs> your family be kind of hold the law or a few things you can do to be like Paul. Oh, we ain't got a little fight to it this go to work go to church keep your word that's all she wrote or a few things you can do to be like go if you want to be like rev get in the word when you awake listen keep your faith jesus right along every step you take got his gun tuned in. He wants to shoot it just one more time, but just in case. Oh, good, my little grandson, Brooks, because we call him Amos after Amos Moses, you know. And Amos is, uh, he done got to where he's a pretty good shot with a bow or a gun or a fishing rod. He can make the shot. All right, Amos is fixing to just test his gun one more time. And we got this real factory made target set up. If you'll notice, it was Monster Mill Attractor. It works, and we're gonna see if this gun will work. So let's see if we can put a hole in that Monster Mill sack. All right, Amos is pretty particular about his gun. It's always good to just to make sure this is the last minute and we're gonna be hunting in about a couple of hours. He shoots, and he shoots a lot. 200 yards before the season opens and ready. So whenever he pulls the trigger, he's expecting that animal to be dead. All right, this is my hunter in Kansas. This is Quinn. He's finally going me on opening day. What day is today, baby? That's September the 2nd, 2020. That's right, and it's your day today, isn't it? All right, Gwen's gonna be up, and uh, she's not a rookie to this deer hunting. She's been taking deer since she was six years old. Usually you were your daddy. Mm -hmm. You were Papa today. What's your daddy doing? He's hunting with my little brother, Nolan. Uh-huh. Trying to get his, his first deer then. We've got Nolan in the back. Uh, it's your first time to go hunting, isn't it? Yeah. He's six years old, and he's ready to go. He's got a crossbow dialed in. I'm going to go with him today, and Papa is going to go with Quinn um, and try to try to see if her buck could come in. It's it's hot. It's 99 degrees right now. We are not hunting our first deer. We're hunting a big deer today, aren't we? Mm -hmm. If he shows up, it's 100 degrees right now, and it's six o'clock. But uh, so we still got about two and a half hours. We're, we're going to try to get Nolan his first deer. He said he wants to shoot a buck, but. We may, a we may six, do that. Yeah. A six a point? six point. He's gonna do what, he's gonna try to do what Quinn did. Quinn killed a six point when she was six. And what did she do? An eight point at eight, a nine point at nine. Yeah, and she's hunting a big 10 right now. So hopefully we'll both get a shot tonight. And, um, that meat on the table, huh? Yeah, you ready? All right. All right, Dino, that's what I call my grandson, Gabe's son. His name is actually Nolan, but I got a nickname for all mine just about, so we're talking about Dino. This is his first hunt, uh, hoping he's gonna be able to take a buck and build it. Go 
The Way It Was is brought to you by Schwacker Broadheads. You got your gun? Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of that, hold that gun up. I want to tell people about that gun. Uh, people think those things are, they call them assault weapons. That's a perfect youth gun right there. Let me tell you why. It's a 30 caliber bullet, it's a 300 blackout, so it makes a really good, it does some damage. The stock is adjustable for any length pull, so it's great for youth. It's got the suppressor on it, so it doesn't hurt your ears. Uh, you know, it's, it's the perfect youth gun, really, is what I call it. So, that's what you kill your first deer with it when you were six. I got him. <laughs> I got him. Yes, I got him. This time I got a big uh, a buck. It was so good. Come here. There's some there. Turn around, put it on his cheek. And there's some there. Now you a real deer hunter, girl. That's what you gotta do. Good job, baby. Uh huh. And we're gonna get a big 10 point today if he comes in. <laughs> this is our setup. We're right back in the middle of this play. And, uh,. I kind of got this blind in the shade, which might help a little bit. And we're facing east. And that's where we've been putting the monster mill pellet out there. It's about 35, 40 yards. I want you to see our setup. Got Quinny right there on my left side. What's her youth gun? And I'm set up here with Cameron. I'm the designated cameraman today. If you don't take your kids or your grandkids hunting, shame on you. You don't know what you're missing and what they're missing. We got a good little opening in here. We're kind of back in some shade, which is nice because it's 100 degrees out there. And I'm getting out of the open day of youth season in Kansas. You'll enjoy it way more than if you're out there hunting yourself. While her daddy is taking her little brother, her six year old little brother, out. And we were only three or 400 yards from Dino, which was something that daddy gave. And we had a clean miss. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how quick, how quick you like to shoot. Uh, it's some of the best lessons about life that they can learn out there. It's been this really nice 10 point. It's just a perfect tall 10 point coming in here. If he comes today, we're gonna shoot him. If he doesn't, we're hunting tomorrow. <laughs> right, we had this deer, he was a pretty nice deer. I sent Mr. Parker a picture of him, and uh, he named the deer Elvis. All right, everybody, we're out here in a big alfalfa field, and it's September 2nd. We're hunting a deer named Elvis that Hank Parker named. He said he's a pretty boy, and the youth season starts before both seasons, so I almost had first crack at Elvis. And we're hoping we'll shoot him. He's been coming up pretty consistently around 740-ish. He just shot his velvet this morning, but he's still a really big deer, so hopefully we can get him. But Amos is serious about his deer hunting, and he's serious about shooting a big deer. Last year, he shot a 172 inch deer. The Way It Was is brought to you by Hybrid Light. Are you ready? 
pumped on that one. I promise you he was excited over that one. Oh my god. 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 Dude, I just him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. We're gonna call it quits today. This time got dark. We encourage everybody to take your kids hunting or take your grandkids hunting. They might not want to do it all the time, but they need to have the exposure. Let me see that big something. Dude, his base is... Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. Let me see. That Amos, he's a, he's a real deal. We, we might ought to just let him have the whole show. And, uh... He needs one of his own, just Amos and Company. <laughs> he's he is a true jack. They're still sticky from the velcro. Are they? They're still sticky. Amos, what you got here, man? I got Oh! Oh, you got killed at the park and steel. That's the Elvis Presley. What about that? Oh. He's killed more big deer than a lot of grown people have. Elvis is a pretty boy, isn't he? Yeah. How many points does he have now, Amos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's just been able to be in the right place at the right time in his life to experience this stuff. 18 points. And you ain't, but how old? 11. How old? You wear me out, Amos. You wear me out. You are wearing me out. No telling what the future holds. About that, Lightning Man. All right. Is this our second day? Second day of youth season. What did we see yesterday? We saw a lot of does, and then the last time, we, the second we were leaving, we saw our buck. Yeah. Right at dark. It was too dark to do anything with. We looked at the camera. He came in right before daylight, right when we should have been getting in the blind. So that's why he's so hard to hunt in the morning. He comes in while we'll be coming in, and that won't work. And just by the time he gets shooting light, he leaves. That's how they get big, I guess. You, you shot. We don't, we don't. Yeah, we, we just heard Gwen shoot, and I know she wasn't going to shoot unless her buck came in. <laughs> oh, I love my girls. My buck, my first season with Papa. <laughs> That's the deal we've been. We've been up. Hey, I just, I just text Papa, and I said, we heard that. Did y'all shoot him? Yeah, your dad said we heard that. Did you shoot him? I'm letting you get out of this reply, thing. Reply, reply. Oh. Yes. Yes. I just 
just gotta respond. <laughs> The Way It Was is brought to you by Three Rivers Archery. Now yesterday, Lynn's grandpa, we call him Amos Moses, and Brooke shot one that scored 196 and 2 eighths inches yesterday. That's huge. We're gonna give him a little something. <laughs> both kind of excited to go help Gwen look for her deer, but keep our fingers crossed we might get a double this evening. Did you hit him good? Oh, no, you weren't you ready to see it. Alright, let's take a look at it. It's been 30 minutes and this girl is having a fit to go out there and try to find her deer. I told her never count your chicken till your eggs hatch. Well, unfortunately that day, that was the target deer that Quinn and I were hunting, her target deer. We thought we had a hit, but going back and looking at things and looking and looking and looking. And especially a few days later, when the deer showed back on camera, like I said a few days later, like the next day, <laughs> we knew we had a clean miss. But you think the girl was disappointed? Yeah, she was disappointed she didn't make the shot, but she's ready to get back out there and get it done. She never gives up on her hunting. We just came back in here to look for Quinny's deer, and Dino, the little brother, had shot one with a crossbow. Dino, are you happy? <laughs> That's his first deer. <laughs> Are you happy, boy? <laughs> they both had nice bucks come in. We didn't get it done. Dino, this is his first hunt. And we thought, yep, maybe he's got him. I said, Quinn never gives up on a hunt. She goes back out there with her daddy and uh, gets on another deer. And mm -hmm. giving that girl a second chance, we felt like it was gonna happen. It, it, it's so good to see him enjoy something Damn. like that. Time. Go! <laughs> Never give up. You smoked him. Sit down, yeah. sit down. Keep trying. Keep it, give me, give me, give me, give me. It pays off for him. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, what an episode, huh? You know, isn't it fun when we take our kids or grandkids hunting and Quinn, man, she sh shoots this deer and we don't find it. And you know, it's just, it's, it's disappointing sometimes. And maybe even as a, a young person, we uh, say those things like, man, life's just not fair. Life's not fair. And uh, boy, the older we get, we realize that statement is very, very true because it's not. I remember as a little bitty boy, I had an older brother and uh, anytime I would complain about life's not fair, life's not fair, he would tell me this. He said, you know what, buddy? It's fair in October. Um, and that's when the state fair would come to North Louisiana. He said, that's the only time it's gonna be fair is in October. You know, you may be sitting here watching this episode and you know, you may have been to the doctor and he may have said you have cancer. And maybe the thing that you got on your mind is, you know what? Life's just not fair. Maybe you've been dealt a, 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 a hand of cards that it just is difficult. You look at your family, maybe you look at somebody else down the road and you say, well, how come we couldn't be dealt that hand? And, you know, sometimes we look at our circumstances in our life and we think, man, this just wasn't fair. We got a raw deal. Um, I want to encourage you with a word. Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 6, it's verse 33. Listen to what he says. He says, but seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all of these things will be added 
unto you. You know, oftentimes we get our eyes on this world, this kingdom, but Jesus said, raise your eyes up. Seek first his kingdom and all of these things will be added unto you. You know, this old world is not fair, um, but Jesus gives us grace and forgiveness. More than the justice we deserve, he offers us grace and forgiveness. Have you uh, sought first God's kingdom in your life? Have you looked up out of this world into the next? I tell you, God loves you very much. In fact, he sent his son Jesus to die for you. And this world might not seem fair, but uh, God loves you even in the midst of all of your circumstances. And he wants to have a relationship with you. And he wants to spend all of eternity with you. And in fact, we, we would hear it the way it was. We would love the opportunity to help you begin that relationship with Jesus. There, there's a website on the bottom of the screen. It's in the hunt.org you can go to that website and you can ask questions type those questions in about spiritual things and a live person will answer those questions and help you understand how much god loves you hey thanks again for watching the way it was